Okay. If you're using this video today, that means you're stuck with not being able to see your recovery menu. All you get is a black screen. This video is going to show you how to actually see that screen on your PC. You're still going to use the buttons on your phone to navigate, but it will allow you to see your recovery menu so you can install the ROM that hopefully you've already installed on your SD card. If you haven't done so, we'll show you real quick where that can be found. First, you're going to need to download from here. This is Android Forums. You're going to go to the Optifus V All Things Root Guide, which is a sticky at the top of the forums. And you're going to navigate down here if you don't already have the LG Optimus V drivers. These are important. Once you have them installed, reboot and it will actually install two more drivers. Then plug your phone in and it will finish the installation. Once you have that done, then you can go to the new prepackaged ADB installation which is found here at support for you I'm going to leave you the URLs in the video plus they will be in the all things root guide sticky this is a nice video that they have they didn't have this when I did it and I still managed to do it in about 10 minutes once you get to the part where it says to test it out you open up a command prompt and type in ADB devices. If you don't get the proper output, do not worry. They have a prepackaged ADB fix. This is just a link to show you how to put the ADB executable in your system path of your PC. Pretty simple. Once you've done all that, we're going to go here to the Java 6. The Java 6 is very important. Um, with the, the Windows XP, Windows Vista, and Windows 7, it will work. 64-bit, um, you pick 64 uh, in the download, and with the 32-bit, I think it's uh, 86. It's kind of a weird number, but that's just how it works. Once you've got the Java downloaded, then you can go to the droid at screen. You're gonna pick this one right here. I always pick the newest one. It works really good. They have a video. In the video, they will ask you to put the Java SDK and the Java 6, the Android SDK and the Java 6. Uh, you've already done that. What you wanna pay attention to in this video is how to point the droid at screen to the ADB executable. If you don't do that properly, it will not work. Go back and watch the video again. Um, this video helped me out uh, a great deal. Once you have that done, it will allow you, again, like I said, to see your recovery menu on your PC screen. I have the touchscreen recovery. I really like this recovery. Um, the Bob Zone recovery is another really good one. The Bob Zone, everything is done off the side of the V with the up down scroll and the camera button being your selection. It makes it kind of hard to see everything and manipulate the buttons. I like this one because if for some reason your hard buttons go south you still have the virtual buttons here now when you go to install the ROM that you put on your SD card if you haven't done that you need to do that I'll show you again where to find those you're gonna wipe data factory reset this will wipe all the user data off the phone you're gonna wipe the cache partition 
This is actually an added one on this one. Um, go ahead and use that as well. Then go to the advanced section where you'll find the Dalvik cache. You want to wipe that as well. Then we're going to hit the back button and go back to the main menu and go to the mounts and storage where we'll find the format boot. These are actual partitions on the phone. We're going to format or wipe the boot partition, the cache partition, the data partition, and the system partition. Do not wipe the SD card partition. That is actually the SD card in your phone. It will wipe everything off the SD card and you will have to start from scratch and download and install everything on the SD card. All right. Once you've got your ROM installed, which you will do by going here, install zip from SD card, choose zip from SD card, and then pick your ROM from this menu here. The ROM itself, you can put in a folder, but the, the recovery does not work at all trying to flash it from the SD card. You want to keep it in this directory here. This is the main SD card directory. Don't put it in a folder, put it here. Uh, but the ROM, you can put it in a folder. No big deal there. All right. That pretty much ends the video. If you have any questions, go here. This is also the URL. Um, let me pop up that list of stuff again. Um, if you have any questions about the video, also go here to the Truth About ROM Manager. I've got everything down on words with all the links and you can leave a post if you have any questions. Now, um, as far as the ROMs, um, this is a short list. There's, they've got so many ROMs out now, they ain't funny, but this is a nice little short list. These are all really good working ROMs. This ICS ROM, um, pretty much everything works on it. They don't have too many problems with this. No, I'm sorry, the Quatimus. Quatimus. Um, but if you want something right now that's that everything works, then pick something out of here. Everything out of the gets the, including the Harmonia number two and the backside are all the CM7 IHO ROMs. Again, here's the uh, links to the recovery, the touchscreen recovery that I have and the Bob Zone. These will work no matter what screen you have, whether you have the Novatech or the Hitachi screen. You wanna make sure you put one of those on your SD card. You can put this on here if you want, but this is really only good for Fourier ROMs. Um, you actually, if you try to install a gingerbread ROM or an ICS ROM, all the options I showed you, it, it actually is missing one of those options. You have to select them three times to make sure you properly wipe everything. That's kind of a pain. So. Me personally, I gravitate toward either this one or this one. That is all for this video that I have time for. Um, hopefully, I haven't missed anything. I'll double check and make sure. But you should now be able to install a ROM and from there, download a terminal emulator from the phone. Oh, that's the other thing I needed to show you. And go here, how to flash install a flash image recovery and ROM. It will give you the instructions on how to do all of that. That should end this video. Uh, thank you and have a good day.